Hello. Uh, today I will show you uh, how to construct so-called PCAS construction and wager. Um, before we start, I will just show you the, um, some typical framing pans. Okay, you can see this framing pan. You can see that they are symmetric and all the sides are more or less the same. That's why when we using the PCAS element, it is very economical and uh, help the construction projects. And then you can see this is a so-called a typical uh, PCAS panel. You, you can see uh, when there's a one bedrooms, two bedrooms, or the up to three bedrooms, they can also use the standard PCAS element. Okay, and you can see the green one is the highlighted elements. Nowadays we can use the PCAS element. You can see the most of the portion of the construction can be used PCAS nowadays. And then you can see there's a uh, many PCAS element nowadays. We can use a PCAS slab beam and columns, more up to staircase and facades. And before we start, if, if you are the architect, you need to understand how to make it waterproofing. The first one, you need to provide so-called horizontal joint. Firstly, you can see there's a few uh, types of jointings. One is upper the screening and one is below the screening. And the third one should be the best one. You can see the water should not be go up to the four level because the final points of the water cannot be higher than the first one that's why the first one may not be the best option that's why if you are the best architect you prefer to decide something like the third one the final option okay and then the vertical jointing also there's a fee comparisons for you if we just provide a uh, waterproofing for the first one may not be very good and if you provide the uh, jointing near the column it should be much more better you can imagine the water cannot be go directly behind the concrete columns this is the second and the, the third one should be the best okay and then you can see the typical common uh, uh, jointing detail most likely uh, the lower part should be facing the external face and the the upper portion should be facing the internal one. Before that, we need to have a flushing in order to not allow any water coming in, okay? And then you can see this is a close up. Sometimes they need a so called backdrop or the ceiling uh, to prevent the water coming in. Remember, the left side should be from the from the ex external and the right hand side should be from the internal, okay? The water you can emerge and cannot be go up easily. If you reverse the diversion, the water can easily go into your fat, okay? And then this is another typical details, okay? Also, you need to understand, uh, we need to provide the temporary support in order to prevent any accident during the construction, okay? This is a so-called uh, typical uh, temporary supporting, okay? And then you also, before we start it, you also need to understand the standard sequence of construction. The first one we need to have a steel fixing and then you install the window and then sometimes if you have a casting items you need to put it before we concreting okay after concreting if the string is good enough and then we can demolding take out the molding and then install the tiles and the final this uh, transportation to your construction size and this is the typical uh, step you need to uh, raise up your PCAS panel. You can see this is uh, sometimes you need to have a four point support, sometimes you need to more support if this is very heavy, something like this. Okay, this is a final installation uh, method. Okay, and you need to know this is a so called PCAS slab. Most likely you can see the, the edge of the PCAS slab will have a steel fixing. Okay, something like this for tension lab. Okay, and regarding the P PCAS beam, you can See, this is mostly only upper portion we need to concrete. That means the construction uh, should be much more faster. Okay, and this is another types of PCAS column. You can see only little portion we need to concrete, and then we can connect two columns together. And this is another detail I show you. And also, you need you need to see the so called the uh, PCAS was facade and staircase and this is so called the bathroom and this is the so called the isometric view 
Okay, sometimes in Japan you can see this. They can already use the Picasso panel to do their fetch. Okay, that means I imagine in Hong Kong in future can also do something like this. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye.